a lot of people think of bankruptcy in ways that are not actually accurate. Hi, I'm Scott Goldstein. I'm the founder and principal attorney at the law office of Scott J. Goldstein. We are a firm specializing in bankruptcy, estate planning, guardianships, probate, and similar matters. Today, I want to give you my top five bankruptcy myths and what the reality is. Let's get started. Number one, if I file for bankruptcy, I'm going to lose everything. That is absolutely not true. There are hundreds of thousands of cases filed every year, and those people are not walking around naked. In every bankruptcy case, there are generous exemptions that allow you to keep most, if not all, of your possessions in a personal matter. If there is a reason that you might look to possibly risk losing something, there are ways to retain it, but paying some cash instead. Myth number two, everyone will know that I filed for bankruptcy. Again, that is absolutely not true. It is a misconception. Yes, a bankruptcy is a public record, but it is behind a paywall that few people ever bother to look behind. The only people that are going to know are you, your lawyer, and your creditors. We do not stamp a giant scarlet B on your forehead when you file. So you can rest assured that as long as you don't go around telling everybody that you filed for bankruptcy, no one is going to know. That being said, if you're happy with the results your lawyer got you, tell people. We appreciate it. Number three, I will never be able to buy a house, a car, get a credit card, or use credit ever again. That is absolutely not true. If you think of bankruptcy, think of it as cleaning out an infected wound. You're going to have to clean it out, you're going to cauterize it, wrap it, and it will heal. You will be able to get credit or use credit again. You will be able to buy a house at some point. You should be able to buy a car. As long as you put in the work to build yourself back up again, you can again use credit. Do I recommend using it irresponsibly? Of course not, but it will be available to you again. Number four, only irresponsible or bad people file for bankruptcy. Absolutely not true. It is Unfortunate that capitalism sometimes doesn't work for everybody and there needs to be a safety valve. And that's why we have this system. Sometimes people get sick. Sometimes you lose a job through no fault of your own. Sometimes things just go horribly wrong. And that's not necessarily a, due to irresponsibility. Things just happen. And finally, you can't afford it. That may be an issue because you may not have all the money up front to pay your attorney. Most attorneys do have payment plans that will allow you to pay over time to file your case. And if you're really in a bind and you're absolutely broke, there are pro bono resources out there. If you are in financial trouble, please reach out to us and see if we can help you get past some of these myths to be able to get the financial restart you need. Again, I'm Scott Goldstein, and this is the Law Offices of Scott J. Goldstein.